what's up everyone, this Asian Gay, yeah, Blink Red Effort of Sandra's Dime Mission. Today I get off the mission made by Jim and Part, and the top mission is Noble Savage, which is a 44th mission of uh, here is the Shadow Rain series. So yeah, we're not wasting for time, but I like this mission. Start playing right now. It's night time. If we don't go now, she might not going to make it. I'll take care. Your boys have already done more than enough for me tonight. No, I'll take care. You'll drive on old slow fucking green wood. Ooh. I drive Phoenix. I'll get her to the hospital much faster. Time is off to the essence. Russell, all right, guys, we can drop you at the motel. All right, bro. Keep your hands down on the way back. You too. See you at the motel. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Get in your car. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be a time limit, man. Especially during the cutscene. Oh my goodness. Can I do this in the amount of time uh, available? Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Gotcha. One, two, three. Oh my god, I have to go up there, All right? Oh my god, I screwed myself. No, forget it. I, I failed the mission. I think I gotta fail the mission. I wanna take the shortcut and it didn't work the way I wanted to. Son of a bitch, man, you son of a bitch. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I failed the mission. Alright. Hey, she's still feeling fine. She went out of the car. Yeah, I know. It's like, you know, it's the Dion. Well, it's the AI behavior in this game, pretty much. It's not, it's not a Dion problem, actually. Alright, uh, be right back. So, yeah, I guess uh, the best way, I think, is to, you know, skip the cutscene in order to get a few seconds. If, if that works, otherwise uh, I'll just do like uh, the usual way, but uh, you know, try to avoid to do any mistakes. So yeah, very bad guys. Alright, second attempt. So yeah, one, two, three. Probably, wait, I'm gonna see if I can do four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, I really have to go to the fourth one. Yeah, really. It's actually closer. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, focus. I can do this. I mean, it's not impossible. It feels tight, but it's not impossible. Alright, got this right. Yeah, got it. At the same time, somewhere in Fierro. Oh, who's there? Still awake, sir? <sighs> we have another problem. What's going on? I just call, got a call from Hasegawa. He told me that this FBI guy and he, another guy he sent to the meat factory to assist us are missing. They still haven't reported back. He said they're not answering their cell phone and they're nowhere to be found. His FBI guy did manage to take care of his partner like he and you will know. The cops started the factory and found him dead. They found nobody else though. That tells me that someone else and another FBI agents follow us to the factory. Knox. Impossible. He and his team were bringing down at the docks by our guys in Yakuza. Uh, it's not a, it's not impossible. However, it's possible that Knox put some of his guys under lockout outside the docks and had them follow us in case we escape. If that's true, then that means that Knox and his team captured Azogawa guys. Azogawa guys. 
do you think Azigawa guys know about this safe house? That's the problem, I'm not sure. Azigawa knows about this place. It depends whether he told his guys about it or about it too or not. If he did, chances are Knox and his teams know now know about it too. So what do you want to do? A little later on Villa's Yatch. Oh wow. Thought you look it looks prettier during nighttime. Sir, we need to talk. Is it done? I don't know how to tell you this, sir, but all our guys got taken out. Oh, he's not happy. What? That's impossible. Unfortunately, it's true, sir. I think he's angry. There's no way these gangbanging scumbags were able to take our guys out on their own. It's clear to me now. They must have help. That will also perfectly explain how they were able to wipe out the lost Lagos and DC Kings in such a period of time. Find out who's helping them. Ask around the, all of East Los Santos, especially the territories, which use it to belong to the lost locals and DC Kings. Someone must see something during these shootouts. I want you to put the word out on the streets. Anyone who gives us that info which proved to be true and lead us to the people who were looking get 10 grand. I want leads by no later than noon tomorrow. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Then get to it. At the same time, in the warehouse in Esplanade East. Oh, he didn't kill the guy. All right, listen up. After careful persuasion, our Yakuza boys were kind enough to let us know that the Yakuza is run by a guy named Ryo Hazegawa. They also said that he owns a gentleman club in Battery Point. That match up with some of the info I found in the files I took from Cross Office. The files don't contain the name Ryo Hazigawa, but they do contain the name and the address of Gentleman's Club in Battery Point. I called the guys in Las Ventures to dig up the info about the owner of that club and they verified that the owner's name is really Ryo Hazigawa. They also sent a picture of him, so now we know how he looks like now too. Our Yakuza boys swear they don't know Cross whereabouts, and I believe them. Good thing is, if anyone knows his whereabouts, he's Azigawa. So all we have to do is to catch Azigawa and make him tell us where Cross is hiding. As far as you boys go, it's been a pleasure. No, wait, please! Are they dead? Kill. Oh, yeah, they're really dead. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Sonny, come with me. We're gonna go scout Azigawa Club. The rest of you clean this mess up and get rid of the bodies until we get back. I hope you know, you know how to do it right. I'd love to show it on you, you psycho. Let's go, Sonny. To be continued, which means that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, guys. All right, uh, yeah, I thought it was long, but it wasn't long enough. So it's hard to tell. I mean, of course, there's like the game time that you can see on the top right, but uh, I didn't really pay attention. Uh, I, I thought like the mission I played was long enough, but yeah, gonna play on mission still. All right. Uh, title mission between the lines, which is his uh, 45th mission of his uh, The Shadow Race series. So yeah, we're always looking for a triangle like this mission. Start things right now. Right after Sonny and Knox got out of the warehouse. Bang. Get in a car with Sonny. Alright. Why didn't we take 
black chester inside the warehouse much faster car uh, oh it's inside already because it belonged to one of Yakuza boys other Yakuza member could recognize it that makes sense I have a question though why did you bring me with you with this because they become allies this isn't like a, exactly I'm two-man job you could have done this alone without problem there has to be a different reason why you brought me with you right you're right I want to talk to you in private about something it's something that I didn't want others to hear hey look I don't know what kind of vibe I was giving off at the warehouse but I'm not into it guys it's a compliment that you think of me like that no wait no what it's not what I mean at all what is wrong with you uh, so what I turn you down and suddenly I'm not attractive enough is that it Jesus Christ, I'm trying to save your life here, you idiot. No, my life is just fine with women. I don't need men with that in that field, buddy. Can you shut the fuck up and let's just listen to me for a minute? I'm trying to do you a favor. You'll understand everything. If you just listen. Okay, okay, I'll listen. Hold on. Is that Agus Gawa Club right there? <laughs> he didn't want to finish their dialogues. Parked at the car at the club parking lot wow it's pretty crowded I mean there's a good amount of vehicle parking well the security sure looks light what's up with that you think a Kusa boss will have will wanna have more security at his place to, of business to protect himself but then again Maybe the guy just isn't here right now, so that's why they're keeping it light. Oh, I think he's actually here. Look right there. Probably they have snipers. All those cars look the same as the one we saw storm the docks earlier today. All except one. That one. As you can see, the car is surrounded by all the rest which signify importance. He's also parked closest to the club exit. That's exactly the perfect spot for a VIP vehicle. It enables them to evacuate a VIP as quickly as possible in case something unexpected happened. It seems the car is also bulletproof down to the tires. Shit, Baldi, I think you may, might be right. As long as we stay here and wait, we should see Azegawa. It has to come out of his club sooner or later then we'll know for sure so since we're just waiting what about that thing you wanted to talk to me about <sighs> after all this done if we even pulled it off you know Villa guy is gonna kill us right we embarrassed Villa by coming into this yacht and blackmailing him into helping us in addition a lot of his guys already died because of us there's just no scenario where he let us walk away after all that. None. What do you mean there's no scenario, man? We can just kill out of his four remaining guys at the warehouse. And then there will be nobody else left to kill us afterwards. Problem solved. Well, because the other one is a main character like you. Oh uh, no, we cannot do that for two reasons. Number one, I still need them. The two of us alone cannot finish this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if the six of us can do it. I didn't expect that more than half of the team would be dead by this point. And number two, even if we kill them and manage to finish this alone, how do you know that Villa didn't simply send more of his guys here to follow us without us knowing and told them to kill us in case we try to do exactly what you just proposed? Oh right, guess those are good points. But what then? We just let them kill us? That's that's stupid. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about you about. There's a way out. See, you and I, we don't know each other almost at all. I certainly didn't want your help with this. Yet, yeah, I got it. Sure, I got it due of your own selfish reason, but... 
whether I want to admit it or not, if it wasn't for your help, I wouldn't even be in this position right now. You stuck with me through all of this so far, even though you didn't really have to. And you also impressed me with your level of expertise in weapons and combat. You finally handled yourself well so far. Especially at the docks and you earned my respect for it. On top of that, you tried to save Jason at the hospital and I'm thankful for that. You need to learn to shut up every once in a while cause, cause you talk way too much. But anyways, I'm trying to say is that all oh, you want and I want to return the favor. I will do it right now but I need your help with getting to Hazigawa first. And so if we can survive that, I want you to leave right after. Just get on a plane and leave Sandra's. What? Why? Because this is not really your fight, and also because there's no point in sticking with me after we get Azigawa. I'll go after Cross alone if none of the remaining Villa guys survive until then. I don't care. With or without them, going after Cross is a one way trip, and I'll realize that. I'm not counting a survive than that anyway, but I have to try. The Rose family gave me too much to just let it go, especially now. I'm gonna help you. I know you've been sticking with me because of your emotionally issue. But I'm sure emotionally has no idea we're even here right now. And there's no way he'll ever find you again once you leave San Andreas. Same thing with Villa, only difference Villa knows where you are right now. That's why leaving the middle of this will be the, the best way. For you to disappear from the radar because they don't expect it. Bringing you with me in certain death won't be alright. Won't be alright. I'm not made that way. Because because besides you're the one of few people who have kept their promise to me. That's why I want you to go. He doesn't want to. I literally don't know what to say to you right now. You're something else, man. Alright. If that's how you want it, you got it. To be continued, which means... And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. For real.